Oh, there we go. That was so close. Wow. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're stopping by for another episode of Running Through Ranks of the American Tank. Today's episode will be continuing off where we left off in the previous episode. I'm trying to get that M6A1 unlocked. This episode I'll try to make it a little bit shorter, probably about 20 minutes or so. Though it's not such a long drawn out video because I know some of you guys have been commenting. Make shorter videos, not so long. I'm definitely try to do that, but. I want you guys to experience what I'm experiencing, but maybe do a little bit different editing for this episode and see how you guys like it. But enough of that, and with that being said, let's get this episode started. Alright, we're going to be starting off using M4A2. I think I'm domination in abandoned town. I do like this map. Not a bad map, actually. But no, it'd be nice to get the M6A1 unlocked and I could continue working my way down. I know in the previous episode I kind of skipped around and started working on the anti aircraft vehicles. I'm not kind of really doing that in line, but it's all right. So I want to get some of the anti-aircraft vehicles unlocked. So, all right, yeah, anti-tank and anti-aircraft. So I'm gonna try a few different things. Try to get some more kills. Be a little bit more patient. How I wanna advance on the enemies. Uh, frame rate dropped there first. For some weird reason. I got this Panzer IV J crawling up over by his building. A good vantage point up there, but. Nine times out of ten, you get knocked out. I kind of want to go on the other side of him, or the, this building, I should say. And this thing will climb up. Hey, come on, turtle, let's go. Actually, I guess I should be watching out to my uh, right side. Looks like he's watching down over there, so we get that. Looks like the enemies are taking a B point. Right, I'm gonna push, hopefully I don't die. Alright, we're good. You don't want to speak too soon, so I waited. We're not good. Alright. Fire and oh god. Let's try not to die here. I don't want to shoot the building down and lose my cover. Oh god. No. Come on, repair. Repair up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. That was so close. Attention to the map. 
That was honestly too close for comfort. And there's a tank right there, I assume. Alright, let's whip this around quickly. Wait for the start to rotate. I don't know if he's still sitting over there or not. Backblaze ain't doing nothing. Mmm, <clears throat> damn, that sucks. I wanna take out his gun. Hope the hell would have just went straight through and not. Ah, uh, oh well. Alright, uh, what should we use? Use that. M24. I like this thing. As I said numerous times in other episodes. You guys know I like this thing for the ones that watch this channel on a regular basis. And for the ones that do, thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. Oops. Keep an eye on the time. Oh, I'm in couple minutes since I started recording, so should be good. To the really aiming for 20 minutes for this episode. Let me climb up this hill. Come on, 24. You got this. Come on, come on. There you go. Look at you. Oh. Don't worry. I don't drive like this in real life. I promise. So we got the M4A3 coming up over there. Don't want to run into that KV tank again. My only thing I don't want to do. If I do run into him, hopefully he's not, you know, looking at me or realize that I'm. Looks like that. How is that? I know it's that tank is, but I can't think of it right now. Got knocked out. By what? I don't know. The only thing I hate is sometimes when the names get over the tanks like that. I'm pretty sure that was an enemy tank that just died. Oh, when you're friendly. I know there's a tank over here, but where? Hands are forward shooting at something. Unless I'm just blind and I do not see it. really want to push up into open like that. I'm going to because there's Panzer 4 over here. If anything, you'll get shot at and I'll be able to see where that round's coming from. At least have an idea. Also gonna change up. I'm gonna try to get more points and kills a little bit. I do hear. Looks, I think I hear something. Maybe not. Alright, so let's capture up this, uh, sea point and... Allied forces have captured a zone. 
Let's try. I'm gonna tr make my way to the E zone. I'm gonna call it zone point, whatever. But you guys know what I mean. That looks like we got a tank over here. Where, where is he? Okay, looks like he got knocked out. We got M4A1 over there. All right, looks like the B zone is getting captured. Just as soon as I said captured, I said captured. Ah, jinx. Jinx the game into uh, giving me some five kills, huh? I don't know why I said five. I just picked a number and I went with it. Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to. Hopefully that Churchill sees him. Man, it'd be nice if that smoke didn't pop that high. back up I hit the corner of that building right there all right that's whatever use uh, m4 the good old m4 we got 10 years anniversary ah the b zone's getting captured again come on let's go grandpa The other thing I hate the most is when the enemies push up and they're just camping around and spawn. That's the most annoying thing is spawn kill ya. But, I mean, I guess I kind of do it too, so I have no room to talk. Yeah, normally I don't like being by anti-aircraft vehicles because they kind of lead enemy aircraft to you. I always stay away from them. I don't know what's going to happen. They're going to bomb it and not only they'll die, I'll die. Looks like they're capturing the Z-Zone too. This is the sink was like 3 mile an hour fast, like 5 miles an hour faster. I mean, I would try to do something fast, but I can't go that fast. Now they hold all the zones, yep. I do hear another tank. I see another tank. Does he see me though? Take that, Ezzy. No, by the way, his turret was rotated. Alright, I'm assuming that there will be some tanks over here. Possibly. I want to try to get control back of the B. No.
probably better ways I could have shot that. Alright, this turret would have knocked him out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use M4A1. Ooh, that's a T-34 that went down that hill. Alright, is that gonna be the last tank that I have for this? m 4 a one yep. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Here's the preliminary results. Obviously, when everything is wrapped up. But, I know some people that commented down for them so but let's get to the next battle all right we're gonna be using an m4a2 sorry enough i did activate a civil line booster and a rp booster so 150 percent on both i believe it was so and we're about 14,000 rp away from getting the m6 unlocked so still quite a ways away but how it is when you get further down the tech trees they take forever to get through. Attack the sea point. Attention to the map. So yeah. Depending on how well we do this battle, if it's a longer battle or not, I'd be the last one for today. See if I can get a overlook of the these ones. I know the enemy tanks. Um, allied forces have captured a zone. Where the hell did that come from? I did not see that at all. I saw that muzzle flash now. I don't know what's coming from. I have an idea somewhat. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit there and try to fight that in. What I'll do is I'll move on. Thirty-four, I believe it is. Yes, I hit. It serves him right. I have his friend over here. Turn that turret. All oh, like lined up for me to kill. What the hell is going on? I can't get no. Wow. <laughs> uh, Russian bias, maybe? Why 
Why can't I kill a C-34? Or that one. Okay, that's very interesting. Excellent. And that's... Nice. I don't know what that was. I literally hit... I don't know. Whatever. I mean, that was a good spot to sit, to be honest, because they all funneled through there. Kind of crappy, though, that you get at least one kill. I thought I was going to... There we go. They have all the zones now, control of it. So let's go over to the C zone. Or C point, whatever you want to call it. Try to capture that back. Alright. Panzer 4. Friendly. Thank God. Gotta help this guy out. Alright, looks like he knocked him out. I just gave you guys a seizure right there. No, I just want to hear it. Right in front of my face. I figured that Panzer IV would have been, you know, paying attention to what the hell is going on in front, but. Apparently not. I will be jumping using the M4. Just kind of curious to see if they ever actually make contact with those points. Can't tell what's going on, but it does look like that Panzer IV is taking control. I didn't realize that that's BP99. That's what it looks like on that birch tree. 
Oh, maybe some kind of Easter egg. I have no idea. Alright, let's go over to the B zone. As soon as two tanks come flying at me, we went two good kills. Well, there we go. We got everything all done. So we got 11,101 research left to go on the M6A1. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up today's episode of Running Through the Ranks of the American Tanks. If you guys liked the episode, I believe it should be a shorter episode because we only did two battles. But we'll see how that goes. If you guys like it or if you guys like the longer videos, just let me know down in the comments. If you guys stuck all the way throughout the video, thank you so very much. Please leave a like. It helps support the channel a lot and obviously subscribe. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.